Hello, this is Dr. Farivar for Econ 4400. This video is about how to find p-values using Gretel. Before we start Gretel, it's good to review the p-values. P-value for a right tail test is the area under the sampling distribution to the right of the test statistic. P-value for a left tail test is the area under the sampling distribution to the left of the test statistic and uh, P-value for a two tail test is the area under the sampling distribution to the right and to the left of the positive absolute value of the test statistic and negative absolute value of the test statistic. So before we start finding the p-value, we have to have already calculated the test statistic for the test. So if you're doing a t-test, this would be this would be the t-value or t-ratio for the test. When you open Gretel, the second uh, menu from right is called Tools, and if you click on Tools, you will see uh, the p-value finder. This is the uh, tool that Gretel has in order to find the p-values. If you click on p-value finder, it will open a new window for you and uh, you have a selection of different types of distributions. The default is normal. We usually do a t-test so we don't want the default here. We usually want the t. So click on the T to change the distribution to a T distribution. When you do that, uh, the window will change. It asks you for two pieces of information. It wants the degree of freedom and the value. So degree of freedom, DF, is the degree of freedom for the test. And value is the value of the test statistic for your hypothesis test. So you calculate the T value, the T ratio, and you give it here and whatever is the degree of freedom for your distribution you enter it here and you hit OK and you will get a window like this. Gretel does not directly calculate the p-values for us. It gives us different area measurements under the distribution. It uh, So let's read the window together. It says area to the right of point 202, which was the value for the test statistic that I gave to Gretel, is 0.4199, and the two-tail value or the two-tail area is 0.8399, the complement is 0.16. So Gretel gives us some area measurements. It's up to us to figure out which one is the p-value that we want. I have a few examples here. So let's say we are doing a right tail test. If you are doing a right tail test, the value of our test statistic is 0.202 and the p-value would be the area to the right of this test statistic. So I will highlight it here, the area to the right. is this area and it's directly measured in this window. So that area is 419987 and this would be the p-value for a right tail test. So for a right tail test p-value would be 0 0.4199. Now, if you are doing a left tail test with the same T ratio, okay? so let's say we are doing a left tail test now. I change my ink color to blue. So a left tail test, and the value of the T ratio is the same, is 0 0.202. But now the P value would be the area to the left of 202. So if I want to highlight the area, it would be a 
anything to the left. Okay, so the blue shaded area is the p-value for the left tail test with test statistic equal to 0 0.202. Now, how do I find that area? The complement area measurement is given to us uh, in this window. So, if uh, the blue area is the area for our p-value, then we can easily find the p-value. It's 1 minus 0.4199. Okay. Now, what if we wanted to do a two-tail test? If we wanted a two-tail test, The p-value is the area to the right of 202, which would be the yellow area that I have on the picture. Also, the area to the left of negative 0.202. So, this area should be also included. I will color that area yellow as well. So both the yellow areas on the picture are the p-value for this test. So the p-value for the two-tail test would be uh, the two-tail area, and that measurement is given to us directly in Gretel. So that would be 0 0.8399. So to summarize, the p-value finder tool in Gretel gives us different area measurement measurements. It's up to us to figure out which one of those is the p-value that we want, and then we uh, write the p-value, we find the p-value the way we want it.